They vowed a return to the streets following the sentencing of nine Catalan politicians and activists for sedition. Two weeks ago, the Tsunami Democratic, a leaderless anonymous organization, called on protesters to blockade Barcelona's airport. One of the most defiant acts among days of protest that occurred throughout Catalonia. And the riots that came after, which caused damage and disruption, the likes of which had not been seen in decades. Catalonia's usual peaceful protest movement became drawn into a controversy over the tactics used to encourage civil disobedience. And the question was raised, who or what is Tsunami Democratic? Today, in the Spanish state, a Supreme Court ruling was announced which is a direct affront to the human rights. The only person to be associated with the movement so far, Manchester City's Catalan manager, Pep Guardiola, who has advocated for the secession of Catalonia. His message for Catalans to get behind the Tsunami Democratic, and it came out on the day protesters occupied the airport. The reaction from the Spanish authorities was swift. A judge ordered their websites and social media platforms to be shut down, part of an ongoing investigation into the movement for charges of terrorism. What we might assume, perhaps, is that uh, the same Catalan political parties which were behind the first October referendum and also the same organizations are now behind this anonymous platform. But it, it's some kind of a political elite that has been preparing these actions for a lot of months. The domain of their website was registered on July 2019, so we might assume that they have been preparing this for a lot of time. So anyone who wants to join the Tsunami Democratic, well, they first have to download the app on an Android phone. And then they have to activate it by getting a QR code from another user. Now, that code can only be used for a limited amount of times. Now, there's no account as such that's created. However, the user has to agree with the app being able to track their location. So far, the app is still awaiting activation. But the movement has already called for further action before and after Spain's general election next month in a bid to make further waves in Catalonia. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Barcelona.